Welcome back. In this section of the program, we shall overview some facts concerning both the operation and maintenance of mechanical seals. As mentioned earlier, the mechanical seal was developed as a means of preventing or drastically reducing leakage of product to the atmosphere, especially in applications where pressures and temperatures excluded the use of gland packings. Modern, high-quality mechanical seals are capable of achieving excellent sealing, even under extremely arduous conditions. The secret of a good seal is the way in which the primary sealing faces cope with friction. Let's examine this a little further. You are probably aware that when one surface rubs against another, a force called friction is present. You are also no doubt aware that if friction carries on for any length of time, heat is created. In order to reduce friction, we need to create some kind of cushion or barrier to prevent the surfaces from actually making contact. In a mechanical seal, the faces of the primary sealing element would quickly burn out if it were not for a very thin layer of fluid between the two surfaces. This is called the fluid interface. The fluid interface is often supplied from the product being pumped in the case of centrifugal pumps. This fluid enters the interface area under pressure created within the system and as it passes across the face towards the atmosphere, the pressure drops to virtually zero. By the time the fluid reaches the atmosphere, it has vaporized. Now there are a lot of scientific reasons as to why this occurs and that is outside the scope of this program. At this stage, just accept that the success of a leak-free seal depends heavily on the fact that the primary seal faces must be perfectly manufactured, which involves an extremely high degree of lapping and polishing accuracy. For this reason, new seal components must be handled carefully and extreme care exercised to prevent scratching or otherwise damaging the polished surfaces. Damage during operation to the primary seal faces can be caused for several reasons, but almost all damage is created because the fluid interface has in some way been destroyed. Fluid interface disturbance mostly occurs as a result of excess heat, which in turn breaks down the fluid barrier. This results in rapid wear and destruction of the primary seal elements. Even with the best design of seal, there will always be some heat generated at the seal face. However, cooling of the seal is generally a feature of the seal design or the plant. In the simplest example, heat is dissipated or carried away by the transfer of heat into the housing metal and thence to atmosphere. This system serves well in cold water pumping applications where there is ample stuffing box clearance around the seal area providing that the seat to housing contact is not fully insulated. In applications requiring hot pumping, provided the liquid temperature is at least 25 degrees centigrade below its boiling point, it is normal to install a recirculation or bypass flow of pumped liquid to the seal face area. This bypass is tapped off from the discharge side of the pump and is used to flush away heat from the seal face area. In hotter applications, where the product being pumped is near to its atmospheric boiling point, then more ingenious methods of seal cooling are necessary. Such methods involve the cooling of the bypass fluid through a heat exchanger device. Another method is to provide an independent supply of cooling liquid directly around the stationary seat housing. As you may now appreciate, cooling is a vital part of successful sealing and in the petrochemical and associated industries, this factor is of critical importance. Manufacturers of top quality seals are very aware of the many complexities and variations of industrial products. Special seal designs and high-tech materials are now almost limitless. Whenever a seal is required for a new installation or if improved service life is needed, then don't play a guessing game. Contact your nearest dealer or manufacturer of mechanical seals for expert advice on the correct selection. 
On the subject of seal maintenance, it can be said that a mechanical seal requires no maintenance in the normal sense of the word. However, it is important, more from an operating point of view, that accessory equipment such as cooling liquid pipework, valves, cooling devices and filters be maintained in good order at all times. Failure of cooling systems can, as you're now aware, lead to failure of seals. This in turn could prove to be disastrous, as well as extremely costly. After the break, we shall continue this program by discussing important points regarding seal fitting. <laughs>